Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we're gonna do something fun. We're gonna compare Andrew Jack once again, but this time around with the actual top 3 Olympian, Samson Dauda. Now, as you guys know, these two guys already faced each other multiple times, and so far it was always Samson Dauda who prevailed, who placed ahead of Andrew Jack. Will this change this year? Well, that's basically the big question everybody is asking this year after the Texas Pro, after we saw what Andrew Jack brought to that freaking stage and it was incredible. A lot of people, as you guys saw, are saying that Andrew Jack is now a top 3 Olympian, but I don't know if they're actually thinking who Andrew Jack actually needs to beat in order to get there. Now, we did a comparison between uh, Andrew Jack and the top two guys, Derek and Hadi, and if you guys watched that video, you know my take on that, but now, let's compare Andrew to Samson Daura, and these guys have very, very similar physiques, very similar structure, you know, they're both tall guys, they both have uh, very, very aesthetic physiques, and they have similar flaws, like the conditioning in the glutes and hamstrings, their back poses are not their greatest poses against the, the other top guys especially, and also they could probably be even bigger because the other guys, shorter guys, are just massive for their frames. So I believe there is a big possibility that we're actually gonna see these two guys in a two-man callout, because it's very possible that they're gonna be somewhere around the same spot, and they are very, very similar, so it's gonna be, it would be very much fun to see them compared. Now, Andrew Jack made a ton of progress uh, this past off season, so he's definitely a much improved version of himself this year, hopefully at a Mr. Olympia as well, but so did Samson Dauda, if you compare his 2023 version and 2024, there is a huge difference, he progressed so much as well, so they're both much better than last year at the Mr. Olympia, and in this comparison, we're gonna use Samson Dauda from the Arnold Classic 2024, which I believe is his uh, best yet, at the Arnold Classic UK, he was a little bit more conditioned, but a little bit flatter, so I believe 2024 Iron Classic is his best combination of size and fullness and conditioning, and also, of course, we're gonna use Andrew Jack from this past Texas Pro, so let's start, let's go with the first pose, front double bicep, now obviously the angle is not exactly the same, but I believe we can get a pretty good idea, now as far as the front double bicep, I think Andrew Jack, like the first thing that pops to my eyes are Andrew's biceps, and triceps, so the biceps are just bigger, more peaky, and the triceps are hanging lower, it didn't look quite like this in the Arnold Classic 2024, because uh, yeah, Andrew still had better bicep peaks, but like his arms overall were kind of smaller, and the uh, Samson's arms, even though they were flatter, they actually seemed bigger and fuller, but I don't know if that's gonna be the case this year, I think Andrew improved those arms quite a bit, now, as far as the midsection, they're doing completely different things, uh, Samson is pulling a vacuum, which is also looking very aesthetic, but I prefer the abs of, of Andrew Jack here, and also, like, the lats, I mean, they're kind of close, I think Andrew actually has more, more, more popping lats, especially compared to his waist size, now, as far as the legs... Andrew Jack had crazy legs at this show, very, very detailed, more detailed, more shredded than Samson's, but Samson has, like, probably bigger legs, rounder and fuller. So this pose is very close, but let's give this one to Andrew Jack. These guys had completely different posing routines, completely different order of poses, so I had to chop up the video like this, but it is what it is. Now we go with the front lat spread, and this one is interesting. Both of them are looking very good, but... The physique that is drawing my eyes more is definitely Andrew Jack. Now here you can see similar things like with the front uh, double bicep, like the leg uh, size and fullness. Samson is definitely better in that regard, but Andrew has details, a little bit smaller legs, but not small legs per se, like his legs are also very big and like super shredded, and then like his midsection is better than Samson, at least it was at this show, Samson had some issues at this show, he fixed that for the Arnold Classic UK, so hopefully he'll fix that for the Mr. Olympia as well, hopefully he's gonna come full, like here, but with a better midsection control, but from what I'm seeing right here, the ab detail, the chest details as well, the waist to shoulder ratio, I mean, it's all very similar, very, very similar, like, Samson has probably bigger and fuller legs, but Andrew has uh, better details in the midsection, so it's very close, extremely close, but I'll give this one to Andrew Jack. Alright, so it's 2-0 for Andrew, but now we're coming to the interesting pose, and I know you guys were waiting for this, side poses. First, 
side chest pose. Now here, it's a little bit different story from the other two poses from before. Like from the front, Andrew is incredibly super impressive, but it's from the side where you can see the gap, the difference. And it was basically the same uh, in the 90s when Dorian was winning against those guys like uh, Sean Ray, like Flex Wheeler and so on. Those guys had much better aesthetics, but it was from the side where you could see the thickness difference. And here you can see it as well. Just look at the side lag. Like, is this even close? It's not even remotely close. Samson is just annihilating Andrew in the side leg, especially, like, the difference is enormous, it's huge. And then the upper body, pretty much the same story, like, look at the size of, uh, of Samson's chest, and, like, the width of the shoulders, the size of the arms as well, everything, really, like, it's not even a contest. Samson is destroying Andrew in this one, it's not close, it's, it's just much, much better in Samson's favor. Alright, now let's turn these guys around and let's see what it looks like from the back. Now, like I said, they have basically the same issue. Conditioning with the hamstrings and glutes is not quite there. It never was for neither of these two guys. And also, like, the back, I mean, it, it was, it's okay, but, like, both of them could be bigger and drier, more conditioned in that area, especially if they're going against guys like Derek and Hadi. But right now, let's focus on these two guys, and as far as the back itself, I would say it's very, very close. I would say Andrew's lats are probably inserted lower, but as far as the actual back development, I would say these guys are very, very close. It's hard to decide who's better. And also, like, the shoulders and the arms, everything is very close as far as the upper body. Now, as far as the lower body, that's where you can see a pretty big difference, especially, like, the size of the legs and the, and the hamstrings. Like, Samson has some really good hamstrings. And his conditioning in the hamstrings is not that bad, because he's really flexing the hamstrings and he's uh, pulling the hips outwards. So he's not even, uh, like, uh, squeezing the glutes. And this way you can probably squeeze the hamstrings a little bit more, but you won't be able to flex the glutes and show the glute serration. However, that's not a problem for Samson, because even when he flexes them, there are no details. So this way he's showing the hamstrings and his glutes are looking even probably even better if he does this, uh, if he doesn't flex them. And Andrew is flexing them, but there isn't much separation going on. Like his conditioning in the lower body from behind, is just not that great. And like his hamstrings, they're definitely lacking some serious size. So in this pose, I'm going for Samson. And now you're wondering, could it be different in the back lat spread? Well, let's check it out. In this pose, Andrew is kind of being able to open up quite nicely and to show that crazy width that he has in the shoulders. But I would say it's pretty much same story. Maybe he's a little bit wider, but it's very, very close. The trap thickness is also pretty similar. Yeah, maybe Andrew's lats are a little bit higher, but it's not really helping him that much, especially with those hamstrings and glutes, and so because of the lower body, lower body is what makes the difference here, and that's why I'm choosing Samson again in the back lat spread. Now let's check out the other side pose, and you guys can pretty much know what to expect from this one. Andrew is never doing this one in a conventional way, he hits it a little bit for a moment, but when he like holds the pose, this is the way he holds it, like he's doing the front tricep. So I don't know how the judges are gonna judge this, it's gonna be complicated, but even if they accept it this way, which they will not do, but even if they do, it's still not that much better than Samson, honestly. Samson looks crazy in that side tricep. The leg thickness, the, the, the crazy chest size, the shoulder width that he's showing as well, the, the arms that are looking super thick. And Andrew is looking amazing, but how do I compare this? It's not even the same pose. And if Andrew does it the conventional way, Samson is going to destroy him. So I'm definitely giving this one to Samson. This makes it 4-2, to two, and now Andrew has two more poses and two more chances to tie this result. So as far as the abs and ties, yeah, I'll give this one to Andrew without much thinking. And he's not even hitting it properly here in the posing routine. He did it better on the stage in the comparison. So, you know, Andrew has crazy deep uh, details in the abs, uh, crazy details in the quads. And like with that super small waist, you know, he's just undeniable. 
Uh, Samson, he's not exactly as good in the absent eyes as you would imagine from somebody who's like an aesthetic bodybuilder. He just doesn't have the crazy deep abs and like his, his stomach is protruding a little. So like he's never really super conditioned in the stomach as well. His legs are not as detailed as, as Andrew's. So yeah, I give this one to Andrew easily. And now we're coming to the last pose, a potential tiebreaker. Let's see if Andrew can win this one against Samson Daura. And of course, it's the most muscular pose. Now here, the angle got completely messed up. So I'm going to use a different photo of Samson Daura. So most muscular Andrew versus Samson. This one is also kind of close because Andrew has crazy details like through the chest, through the quads but he doesn't have that uh, thickness in the arms and this is the most muscular here density and thickness in the legs in the arms in the chest matters a lot maybe conditioning is going to take him a long way but with this size that he has right now against samson i don't think it's enough maybe the story is going to be different on the stage at a mr olympia but from what we got right now their latest best editions i still think samson is better but whatever you guys think whatever you feel tell me down below in the comment section if you disagree just please say it if you agree comment down below as well if you guys enjoyed this video however give it a thumbs up and for more videos like this guys stay tuned subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching all the best guys and bye bye